and I'm back. It's the Saturday wrap. It's the Saturday wrap for a new month. November. The Saturday wrap for the day before Bonfire Night, Saturday the 4th of November, 2023. And of course it's on the Friday. Because, you know, schedules and things. Anyway, if you haven't seen this before, me complaining and moaning and describing the previous week. A week which just kind of disappeared again. I don't know what I was doing. Well, I know what the weekend was, but the week in work was... It's Monday, it's Friday. And it disappeared. Ooh, um, actually lit up this time, not using the um, studio light portrait. Can't remember. They're not available. There has been an update to detail. So I'm not sure if they are there. Anyway, I want to have the light on because sundown in about nine minutes time so i'm ready anyway um here we go the word or phrase of the week storm chiron i think it's chiron anyway um it was well for us here in the beautiful lower rumney valley it was a bit like storm babette it was something and nothing. Um, we had a bit of, oh, it was an amber wind warning, and then the amber wind warning disappeared, and it was only in Pembrokeshire. And then the rain warning went to yellow, and the wind warning went to yellow, and then they got pulled back. And although it was windy and rainy, nothing more than normal. And seeing what happened in Jersey, where all the tiles came off the roof, and cars' windows got smashed, and horrendous absolutely horrendous um so we you know that's the second time we got away with it and i hate to think what's going to happen on the third time although statistically the clock is reset but it is autumn and it is the season for this sort of weather so we shall see um just please don't happen I quite like the weather at the moment, apart from the storms and stuff. It's mild. We've only had nearly one frost. Things are still growing in the garden. Uh, peppers, that is. Uh, oh, and so's the lawn. But what can you do? Anyway, moving on. The app of the week. Oh, I've got itchy back. There you go. Sorted that out. The app of the week. Um, For iOS only. And the current version, I think, I could be wrong, is just for M1s, M2s, and this week, M3s, Audio Hijack. If you record audio and you have a Mac and you want to do a good job, this is the thing for you. And this week, they have added transcriptions. It's a one-off cost. It's a not did I say transcriptions? Yeah, sub as opposed to subscriptions. So you don't have to pay extra. It's there. Okay, they update every other year or so or whatever. Um, but you can upgrade price. So this is really good. So if you want to record audio, you want a transcription automatically done. Audio Hijack from Rogue Amoeba. They have some other really good things as well, like Loopback. Um, and I can't think of the name of their... Um, cart machine but that's really oh, there's tons of stuff there and if you're doing podcasts they have a podcasting deal oh, that's wonderful the thing of the week the thing of the week was scary fast apple's announcements starting at one minute to midnight on monday night now I set the alarm for 20 minutes beforehand, so 11.40. Got up, got everything going, had a cup of coffee. Watched it on Twit, This Week in Technology, where they had Alex Lindsay on, and they did a sort of running commentary, uh, a little bit snarky as well, which um, I quite like. Anyway, the whole thing about it, M3, M3 Max, M3 Pro, or the other way around, um, and a new iMac with an M3 chip in it. And 30 minutes in, we are done. We are completely done. There was about 25 minutes of discussion about it, and that was it. I didn't go back to bed. I was shaky on caffeine. Oh, and a banana. So I just 
kept on going and I was fine and I don't know where the time went but um, certainly if you want to scour the internet for things news and social media and updates and everything that's the time really really enjoyed it hmm. can't afford an M3 though there you go the song of the week the last song from the Beatles now and then with the audio from John Lennon extracted via AI although I believe you could do that beforehand so they really could have done it before but you know AI and Bletchley Park and all that sort of thing although it has been mentioned that the people who want most restrictions on AI are the AI incumbents already and they really don't like open source yeah okay whatever so let's look back at the week that was last saturday mb13 for 2023 saturday the 28th back to porter's head oh can i sneeze no i might still sneeze actually <laughs> oh, sorry um yeah it rained oh gosh um and then it was sunny and then it rained a bit and uh, it was a bit windy but it's a nice journey down there it really is apart from the link road i think it's the m49 between the seven bridge second seven crossing and the m5 that's a bit dark <laughs> anyway um signed up for another year of detail although i don't think they've actually taken the money out yet which is pa. Ah. <laughs> um yeah um so in the poor six cup um a bacon butty and all you can drink coffee to start two pints and then to find the port bar with porter's head brewing okay there is a bit of a difference between google maps on ios and google maps on android it's kind of much better on android especially for foot directions turns out this bar isn't far away from the poor six cup and the beers are the beers are really good and you can get them from nine o'clock in the morning and the place has coffee and food and the stuff are great and the wi-fi is really fast so um when the sirens calling is shut that's the place to go to um so i did and then i went to the sirens calling and i had chips from the chip shop next door which is really good they were in a, like a cardboard tray with a wooden fork because that's what happens in england and now that's what happens in wales as well had a couple of beers there in the sirens calling it was good wandered back got soaked um had an extra night extra nights extra hours sleep in the premier inn woke up to find i didn't really notice it i woke up at my normal time not an hour early and i still felt like i could do with a couple of extra hours premier in all you can eat breakfast and then back home and it was mostly sunny well, which is good um monday tumble still had a festival ale on um bunny hop which was really nice um i think it was there tuesday and then it was all gone which is a thing um yeah well tuesday was scary fest day so i made it there um wednesday wednesday the first of november take the energy readings i'm with octopus and um, when you put your readings in because i haven't got a smart meter because you know you get a free spin and i had a pound on each of them so that's two pound off my bill for this month which is rather good usually i get a grand total of nothing at all however um someone was on my side if you believe in that sort of thing uh thursday the storm that i don't want to say it was never thus but around here it wasn't definitely wasn't friday today wandering down the street with the leaves turning red and yellow and amber and all over the place because it was a bit blowy the wonky bar I hadn't noticed before they've done all their fascia out and they've spent a lot of a lot of money on it and apparently it is the number one sports bar in Caerphilly 
Actually, they should say the Caffili area because it's in Bedwas. Uh, but who knows? So that was the week. And as I said, work just went and the week just went. And it's a nice day today. I got washing out on the line. <sighs> which I need to get back in, to be perfectly honest. Tomorrow, MB14, 2023, 4th of November, off to Chippenham. A new place, a completely new place. The Prince of Wales Micropub, Spoons, Costa Coffee, probably Tesco, staying in the Premier Inn overnight. Oh, no, not the Premier Inn, the Travel Lodge overnight, where they do a all-you-can-eat breakfast with everything except fried eggs got to have scrambled and I think I know the reason why so that was my week and it's looking a bit wet tomorrow so if you've got any comments uh, anywhere where you see this uh, just add them so um, I'm off out to get my t-shirts back in bye bye